Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. No, it's not Tech Tip Tuesday. It's another bonus video on Chief Architect Premier X11. Today I want to talk about doors and walls. Let's get started. All right, so walls to start off with, and then we'll get into a couple of cool doors. Um, walls, we've got the option now to draw straight glass walls. Let's go into my plan view here. I'm working on my uh, wrong wall type. Working on my um, MacBook computer. Straight glass wall. Let's draw that real quick. We can see that on, I, I've got my vector view on because it's easier to see um, the, the glass here. Uh, the glass is so transparent it's very difficult to see. Straight glass walls as well as a straight glass pony wall. All right, so there's a couple things in these wall types that I want to draw your attention to. This is a uh, wall specification um, dialog box. We're going to go into the wall type and define that uh, glass shower wall. You'll notice this new option right here called partition wall. If I uncheck this, watch what happens over on plan view and in the rendering here. Let's zoom in. I'm going to pull this down. Let's turn this just a bit. There we go. All right. In plan view, now the glass goes all the way to the framing of this uh, adjoining wall. If I go into my standard view, you'll notice that right here, it, it actually cuts into the drywall. And we really don't want that to happen. And let's just change this back to the um, wall types, define, and partition wall. That's the way it comes set up in, as default in Chief Architect. So that, that goes away here in, this, in the rendering, and it goes back to the um, back to the, yeah, it draws in plan view back to the uh, drywall here. I'm going to select this room type and command E, show room label. Now I've created a room type called shower, and you can edit that and see what I've done to it, um, change the floor finish, etc. so that it's a little different tile. Uh, no, I did not do that in this in this file. It's that's in a different file. Um, all right, so that's that's the walls. Uh, really nifty options here, as well as we can um, draw all the all of the others. Our foundation wall, our wall uh, dividers, room dividers, wall material region. Whoop, zoomed out too far. I'm going to paint a wall material region up here. And because it is a it's a um, partition wall, my material region actually goes beyond the wall. It does not stop at the wall like typical. But I can pull that back pretty quickly and easily. All right, that's wall material regions. We've got that covered. Secondly is the shower door option here. We can just drop a shower door directly from the um, directly from the tools. I used to have it as a um, as an object in my library with all this setup, and now it's just right here. So I've changed my default by my default shower door by double clicking on that. And I changed a couple things. I changed the swing angle. 
I change the option that it um, swings in both directions for my shower door. And let's go in and change the hinges. Let's have three hinges, top, middle, and bottom. And that should change as well. We could change the uh, handles. And that's set up for that door. Okay, so there's your options for shower doors. Next, I want to show you this cool option for this door right here. Let's look at that. Look, we now have the option to show nano wall type of doors. It shows up correctly in plan view and in our rendering views as well. I could open this door. I'm going to command E options. I could have all of them on the right. Let's say six panels on the right. Let's say four panels on the right. And I could have open 100%. And it would show that in plan view, and it would show it in um, rendering view. We can close these. That's what it would look like closed. Let's uh, let's change that to say one on the left, three on the right. Open. Pretty cool with that. So what I did here was I dropped in a sliding door and changed that to um, have the different panels. Next, we can also drop in. Uh, let's let's delete this window. We can drop in a fixed door. Kind of like a side light sort of um, application. Not a whole lot to explain there. It's just a fixed door. Um, you can add hardware faux handles if you want. All of the hinges have been removed. Um, that's a pretty simple one. Simply explained there. And then last, we already covered this a little bit, but I wanted to look at the options of the barn door. We can Choose barn door type, or just drop in the barn door. And let's go to hardware. In hardware, it doesn't come with any spe special sliding tracks or special hangers. Um, just use hardware like that. Number of hangers we can change. Height above door. I'm going to say let's go with uh, two inches above the door. You can actually move that up there. The sliding tracks option is under hardware when you select the barn door type. Let's change this to a pocket door and go into hardware and that's now grayed out. We can't actually select that. So back to barn, hardware. If you wanted to create a um, special track of some sort that that you wanted to put in your library, you could select that. Same with unique hangers, um, you could select that. But as far as I can tell, I did not see any special like um, track library or, or hanger library um, in, in any of the default um, objects in our libraries. So. Fun stuff with X11. More to come. Keep watching. Uh, take care. Have a good day.